To log in to Navigate, go to the LaGuardia website and at the top click on Login and then select Navigate Staff and Faculty. You'll then need to sign in with your CUNY FIRST credentials. Once you're in Navigate, there are two ways to send messages to students. One way is to use the search bar at the top. So you can type in a name, you can type in an EMPL ID. Uh, when you find the student, just click on them. And then from the student's profile, go to the right and click message student. You can send uh, an email to a student or you can choose to send a text message to a student. The other way to send messages to students is to go to your class list to see the students who are in your courses and then message them from there. So when you first go in to navigate, uh, you'll be on your staff home, click the toggle button and go to professor home. You'll see the courses you're teaching, and then below that, you'll see the list of students who are in your courses. You can sort the list. So right now it's sorted by um, the student's last name. You can also sort by the section number. So if you click this sorting icon, uh, it's a bit away from where the, the name of the course is. You just click that, and then it will sort the list by section. If you wanna send a message to just one student, uh, you would just click uh, on that um, student's row, and then you go to actions, send message. If you wanted to send a message to every student in the same section, from this menu right here, you do have to one by one click uh, their names. Uh, if you've sorted by the section, then they're all in order. So you can just keep clicking until you get to the end of that particular section. Once all the students' names are selected, you go to actions, send message, from here, similar to if you're going to just an individual student's uh, profile and clicking send message, you have the option to send an email or a text message. Uh, keep in mind when you're sending emails, these will only go to the student's campus email address. They will, the email will not go to a personal email address. So that's something to keep in mind. You're able to add attachments if you'd like. If you do know the student's personal email address, you could send, you could add it into this section here where it says send additional email notifications, but that's only if you have the student's personal email address. Uh, and especially if you're using Navigate to just send messages to all the students in your, your courses, you might not want to do that. You can also send a text message and navigate when you're sending a message to 100 or fewer students, two-way texting is enabled. So when the message goes to the student, the student would be able to respond to the message. You would be able to see that response and then have a back and forth conversation with the student. So that's something that is unique to navigate, the ability to have two-way texting uh, with students. If you want to see any of the messages that you've sent, or if you want to respond to a text message that has been sent back to you, come over here to the left and click on the conversations uh, icon. You'll now be able to see any messages that you've sent out. Uh, if it's a text message and the student has responded, you should get a email to your Outlook letting you know that. But if you come here to conversations, you just click on the uh, subject of the message. Uh, you'll see the message that you sent. If a student had replied, you would see that here. And then to respond to the student through texting, you would just go to reply and you can add in the message and you can choose to have it as an email or as an SMS. You know that this was a text message originally that was sent to the student because it says the student's name via SMS.